Welcome back to NWA 3D Tutorials. My name's Michael, and I'm going to guide you through the Cura setup for the A31 printer. Now, when you first boot Cura from installation, it will present you with the screen of Add Printer, and we're going to go ahead and choose the custom option and rename it here at the bottom. Go ahead and rename to NWA 3D A31. Choose Add Printer, and we'll be presented with the Machine Settings box. Now inside of here, we're going to change the XYZ to 300 by 300 by 400. Next, we want to make sure our heated bed option is enabled. And also change the G-code flavor from Marlin to Rep Wrap. Next, we want to make sure our Extruder 1 option here on the top left. And change the material diameter to 1.75. Once you have those completed, go ahead and choose Finish. Now we're in our main workspace screen. Here in the middle, we can see the area that we'll be working with for our printer. And on the right hand side, we have all the settings from printer, material to settings. Now we want to make sure our printer is selected. Our material is PLA and change from recommended to custom. Next, we want to load a profile, so go ahead and select Profile, the drop-down box, and Manage Profiles. And then choose the Import option. Go ahead and navigate to your SD card and find the Cura folder. Inside will be a .cura profile. Double-click on the profile to Import, and then select the profile and choose Activate. Go ahead and close this box. And now we have all of our settings preset and required. Next, we can change a couple of those depending upon how we want our model to look. And the first one will be quality. Now the layer height is the biggest determinant of quality or how nice our prints will be. And a 0.1 value is the highest quality while 0.3 is the lowest quality. I'm going to put it at 0.2 to keep it about even in time and quality. Next, we have infill, which will determine how durable or strong our prints become. This value can range anywhere from 5 to 35% on average, and the pattern is up to you. I prefer triangles. Next, we can change the speed that our printer moves at. The lower this value is, the more quality we will receive from our prints. If we exceed 50 millimeters, we will also cause defects or issues with our print. Next, we have support, and within support, it's going to generate more complex structures in order to help print overhangs or areas that are above the build space. Now, in this regard, I'm going to leave generate support on with the placement as everywhere and the overhang as 50. Next, we have our build plate adhesion, and this can be two different values, skirt or brim. Brim will create a suction cup effect to increase the adhesion skirt is a prime which will simply skirt around the model and create a line. Now that we've talked a little bit about the settings we can change, let's go ahead and load a model in by clicking in the top left corner on the open file. Inside of here, we can select one of our STL files from our SD card again, and then choose any of the files located within. I went ahead and selected the snap fit sphere. Now this looks a little small for a build space, so we can change everything that's going on with our model within Cura. In order to enable the options on the left hand side, simply left click on the model itself. The first option we have is to move the object, which will allow us to move it anywhere we would prefer on the build space, and it will print in the location relevant to the blue, green, and red axis at the front left corner. Now, if you want it to center again, you can simply right click and say center selected model. Now, in order to view the model, maybe a little bit close, we can choose all, right click to rotate the build work area. We can zoom in or out with the scroll wheel and we can pan side to side by shift and right click. Now that we're a little bit closer to our model, we should make it a little bit larger to fit our build space better. I'm going to select the value and choose Scale and increase this value to 200%. Now 
Now that increases the size of our model proportionally and makes sure everything stays the same in relative terms. Now we could also grab the boxes in order to change the size. Now moving on, our next tool is Rotate. Rotate allows us to change the orientation with which our model will print. And for this one, we want to make sure that it's laying flat on this hemisphere. So I'm going to rotate to the side to where I can see the red circle. And then left click, hold, and drag until 90 degrees. Once you let go, it will snap to the build plate. And then also we can rotate back to the front. Now our model is in a better position for it to print and it will print in a better quality. Now underneath move, scale, and rotate, we have mirror, per model settings, and support blocker, which are a little bit more advanced and won't be included with this tutorial. In order to view the model as it's sliced or prepared, we need to first prepare the model in the bottom right hand corner. Slicing the current print job will prepare it for the printer and assign coordinates of each layer. And we can view those layers by selecting in the top right hand corner from solid view to layer view. Now this layer view should have a color scheme of line type. And each of these represent something a little bit different. Now if I choose the scroll bar here on the right hand side, I can move through my object and assign different values to the inside. Now you'll notice that I can see the infill, which is the yellow. Our walls will be the green and red and our support material is this light blue color. Now also our platform adhesion is denoted by the light blue going around the outside. Now I want to check the first layer to make sure it's adhering to the build plate well. And that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and save my model. Now I can change the name right here at the bottom. Rename it as A31 Sphere. And then it also has a time frame and material usage right next to the save button. Now I'm going to save the file and save it directly onto my SD card as a G-code file. Once I have it saved, go ahead and eject your SD card and then you can insert it into your printer. That's all for this tutorial. Please let us know if you have any questions. You're welcome to fill out a support form on our website. And thanks for your time.